look at this map. The equator on this map is down here. All the white countries are larger than they should be, and all the countries of people of color are smaller than they should be. This is a visual image that teaches children a lie. This is a throwback video from the Oprah Winfrey Show. The guest in this episode is Miss Jane Elliott, who is well known for addressing racism in this country and its lasting effects. In this video, she exposed how we are indoctrinated to white supremacy in the educational systems. White folks are all racist. We don't understand where it comes from. You can't cure it if you don't recognize that you have it. We all are infected with racism. We are taught to be racist in the school. And here's just one example. Will you hold this up, for please? How many of you have ever seen a map that looked like this before? How many of you have ever seen this map? Seen that map? Yeah. Isn't this the map that you use K through 16 in the United States of America? Now, folks, look at this map. According to your, so, to your social studies teacher, what is the equator? Right An imaginary there, line where? Yeah. Around the center of the Earth. Then if, if this map is correct, then the equator must be here. And Chicago has a tropical climate. Now, folks, this is the map that we use in the schools. Look where the United States is in the middle of the world, right? Now, here's the USSR, which is no more, of course, Mongolia, China, Africa, uh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Now, look over here. USSR, Mongolia, China, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Twindy is here. We have two Indias. Did you know that? Now, people, this is a flat-out lie. Look at the size of Greenland and the size of South America. According to your social studies teachers, what were continents? Largest land masses on the face of the earth, right? Now, do you know the continents? Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, and South America. Did I say Greenland? Well, Greenland isn't a continent, but it's a huge land mass according to this map, right? The map is a flat out lie, people. If you read the legend on the map, here it says, in fact, South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. <laughs> Now, look at this map. The equator on this map is down here. All the white countries are larger than they should be, and all the countries of people of color are smaller than they should be. This is a visual image that teaches children a lie. In order to make this map anywhere near accurate, you have to take this over here and put it here like this. Now, well, can somebody hold that? Can you hold that down there, somebody? Are you a somebody? Sally is a somebody. Okay, yeah. Sally's a somebody. There. Now, take a look at the difference. Does that give you a different visual image of the importance of the United States? People, there's a, the way you use things like this, teaching aids like this, are what make you and I racist. We were taught that this is the way the world looks. It's a flat out lie. How could a parent not be a racist? How could a white parent not be a racist in a situation in which we do that? I am a racist. I was born into a racist society. I was taught how to be a racist at birth. I know how to be a racist. I hate it. I hate the fact that when I read an article in the paper about a crime, I immediately think, God, please don't let it have been a black person who did it. Because immediately, I will get a call from somebody saying, well, one of your people did it again. I'm a racist. I was infected with racism at birth. I want to get over it. It is going to take me the rest of my life to get over it, but I can do it. But I have to choose to do it. What she exposed in this video is what is prophesied in the book of Zechariah chapter 6. This book gives the prophecy of the four horses. But I want to turn your attention to verses 6 and 7. It reads, The black horses, which are therein, go forth into the north country, and the white horses go forth after them and the gristle go forth toward the south country and the bay went forth and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth and he said get you hence walk to and fro through the earth so they walked to and fro through the earth see all the capitalist countries are in the northern hemisphere 
80% of the world's wealth is found there as well. In fact, in the vernacular of the United States, they speak about a north-south conflict. The northern nations are the haves. The southern nations are the have-nots. What continents, what nations, what group of people are primarily in the southern territories? Who occupies the south side of every major city in the United States? The nations of the so-called have-nots are primarily in the poverty-stricken nations in the continent of South America and also in the continent of Africa. The prophecy of the four horses tells us that capitalism goes into the northern countries and Catholicism, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam goes forth after it. This is true in all of northern Europe, including Great Britain, France, Germany, and etc. It's true in the United States, Canada, China, Japan, Korea, Russia, and etc. See, most prophecy books say that the white horse, the conqueror, is the Antichrist, but that's completely incorrect. The white horse is the son of perdition. The red horse is war. They also teach that the black horse is famine and the pale horse is death. However, if the black horse was famine and the pale horse kills with hunger or famine, they will have to be the same thing. Again, the information regarding the identity of the four horses can be found in the book of Zechariah, written about 500 to 600 years prior to the book of Revelation, in which you will also see the same prophet in Revelation chapter 6. I want you to take a minute to review this animation on your screen, which gives the actual size of each continent displayed in the current world maps, and then it gives the actual size of each of the continents. As you see, all the continents and the Eurasian nations, Russia, the United States, Canada, with the exceptions of Africa, South America, and Australia have been reduced to their actual size. For more information on this prophecy, please watch the video titled The Four Horsemen Battle for Africa. The link is posted in the description box. What's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your comments. Also, please click the like, click the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11, verse 10. Explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14, verse 13. Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the father. Jacob had 12 sons. For real, and these were the children of Israel, according to Genesis chapter 10. These were the children of Israel, according to Genesis chapter 10. These were the children of Israel, according to Genesis chapter 10.